Here with Jets defensive lineman John Franklin Myers. John, after a great last season last year, what do you think is the next step in your career? Uh, I mean, just consistency. You know, I have to. I played well last year, and I think. You know, that's what you look forward to in the offseason is getting better at something. And, you know, something I can get better at is running to the ball. I can get better at playing consistent um, during that little five-game stretch that I didn't have a sack in. And, and those are stuff that, I, you know, I beat myself about, uh, beat myself up about in the offseason. I think it's important to, you know, um, everybody wants to talk about a good idea and how to career year. But, you know, so much meat left on the bone in the sense of, like, I could have had 10 sacks, you know, I could have did this, I could have did that in high size 2020 at the end of the day, but just something I look forward to next season. What did you focus on this past off season in order to improve those things? Uh, conditioning, I worked on some more lateral quickness, you know, in, in terms of, you know, sometimes I was able to get through freely and, and you know, miss those opportunities or wasn't able to change uh, direction quick enough. So stuff that I worked on, I worked on conditioning and, and change of direction, I think it's important for my game. And that's, that's, you know, some of my best parts of my game. And, you know, I just can't let that stuff, um, you know, <laughs> not go about, I guess, so to say. Do you think that conditioning has shown through these OTA practices? Without a doubt. And my coach jokes about it all the time. You know, like last year, you know, he was like, oh, you weren't running nowhere near like this. And, you know, I mean, he's impressed. And, and the coaches and the guys are talking about it. And, and, you know, I think, you know, we compete with that. You know, we, we talk about strain points. We talk about effort points. And that all that stuff gets brought up in the meetings. It gets brought, it's brought up on the board. And it's a point system. So I think it's important for us to understand how we run to the bar and what our standard is. Other than that change of pace that you've experienced, different from this time last year to now, what else would you say is a big difference you've noticed, maybe with yourself, but in the team in general? Uh, I mean, I say confidence. You know, these guys, these guys understand this defense. These guys are flying around fast, and and you know, I mean, swagger with each other. We joke all the time, and and we're able to compete with each other. And nobody gets mad about things. So I think all that stuff is important in developing confidence in this team, and you know where we want to be at in next season. Now, two D line additions for the Jets through free agency: Jacob Martin and Solomon Thomas. What have you liked out of what you've seen from them so far? Uh, just the different aspects they bring. You know, you talk about Sally, who is a first-round pick, and, you know, the knowledge he has on and off the field, and he plays D-tackle, and that's a position that I also play. So learning stuff from him and then Jacob, as we are two different players, you know, he brings so much in, in terms of speed rush that, you know, I feel like I can take little nuggets from that. I mean, both both those guys are great character guys, and, I mean, anybody, you like, you can't say anything bad about them. How excited are you for the return of Vinnie Curry and Carl Lawson, who weren't in the mix last year, but now they will be in the mix this year? Yeah, I mean, those are two of my favorite players on the team. I mean, Vinnie helped me a lot last year while he was hurting, and that tells you a lot about his character. And Carl broke down every single offensive lineman every week for us. So, you know, you talk about two of those guys and what they do for this team. I mean, you can't say enough good about them. And, you know, man, I'm looking forward to playing with them and hopefully they help me get sacks. With all of those guys, do you think that your position might change a little bit? Like you might play a little bit more inside because you have so much versatility to offer the team? Without a doubt. And again, I play whatever. I don't care. You know, inside, outside, linebacker, safety, corner receiver quarterback <laughs> now I'll play anything seriously like I mean I, I enjoy playing with those guys and you know again we're going to help each other make a lot of money and get a lot make a, a lot of plays and just get a lot of wins you know and that's the plan I mean going forward like these guys do a great job we do a great job of playing with each other so I'm looking forward to this season what's the one thing you're looking forward to with training camp just around the corner playing with my teammates I mean those, those guys are I mean they're just great people like I mean we do a good I mean I can't say enough good about them I, I love playing with them awesome well we can't wait to see you on the field thank you